morning children now we shall learn about the changing weather sometimes we find it is sunny outside sometimes windy sometimes it rains sometimes it is cold isn't it but how can all this happen this all depends upon the sun basically the heat received by the earth from the sun it is due to the heat of the sun the surrounding air becomes hot or cold this change is called weather or we can say the weather of a place is the condition of air surrounding it it can be hot cold cloudy windy sunny or even rainy the weather keeps changing like sometimes the mornings are rainy but the afternoons are sunny and maybe by the night it may again become cloudy so the weather keeps changing do you know what else makes weather apart from the sunshine the weather is made up of different things like wind precipitation temperature visibility cloud etc i know you may not be familiar with some of these so first we will see what these are and how they affect the weather so what is air we cannot see the air but we can feel the moving air which is the wind don't our trips and picnics become more pleasant and enjoyable when the wind blows gently yes they do what causes the movement of air it is very simple when the air becomes hot it becomes lighter so it rises up and the cold air from the surrounding places rushes in to take its place this movement of air is called the breeze talking about the breeze i remember blowing bubbles all kids love to blow bubbles don't you i'm sure almost each one of you has enjoyed blowing soapy bubbles and watching them sail off in the breeze but have you ever stopped to wonder what gives the bubbles their flying power do they have wings like birds no why do the soapy bubbles float in the air here is the answer when you blow the soapy bubbles warm air from your lungs fills the bubbles as you know warm air is lighter than the cold air so the bubbles drift upwards when do they come down or sink they come down or sink as the air inside cools interesting to know isn't it let us see the different air movement near the sea areas during day and night what happens during the day during day time the sun heats both the land and the sea but the land gets heated faster than the water so the air above the land rises up the cool air above the sea rushes in to take its place this is called the sea breeze why sea breeze it's because the movement of air is from the sea towards the land let us see the night time now during the night the land cools faster so the air above the sea is warmer and rises up the cool air from the land blows towards the sea this is called the land breeze in simple words the movement of air from the land towards the sea is the land breeze we conclude that it is the heat of the sun that helps the movement of the air and causes the sea and the land breeze so what do we learn that places near the sea have two kinds of breezes the sea breeze during the day time and the land breeze during the night time you know the sunlight heats up the land oceans and lakes 
This heat is reflected to the surroundings which makes the air hot. But how do we measure it? Temperature is the measure of how hot the air is. The land receives more sunlight on some days so the air becomes hot and the temperature goes up in those days. When the land receives less sunlight the air does not become hot and the temperature goes down. We feel cooler. We can measure the temperature with the help of a thermometer. Your doctor or your mother also uses the thermometer to know your body temperature when you get fever, isn't it? Have you ever wondered how does it rain or what causes rain? Before this, first let us understand the two processes evaporation and condensation. You have seen in your kitchen that when your mother boils water, it changes into steam or water vapor. This changing of water into water vapor or steam is called evaporation. Have you observed a puddle of water dries by itself after few days? What causes it to dry up? Is it a magic? No. Due to the heat of sun, the evaporation from all the water bodies like sea, river, lake and even puddle of water etc goes on all the time and hence the puddle of water eventually dries up. Do you know why the wet cloths dry faster in the summer season than the winter season? It's because the evaporation is faster due to the high temperature during summer. Let us do another small experiment. Take two wet towels. Make two folds of the first towel. Hang both the towels on a cloth line to dry in the sunlight. Which towel will dry faster and why? The folded towel takes longer time to dry. The second towel which was unfolded and stretched properly on the cloth line dries faster because larger area is exposed for evaporation and hence evaporation is faster.